Our firm belief is there are two kinds of people in the world, people who love Jesus and people who don't. Let's stand to our feet. Hallelujah. I need you to get serious, serious with God. Say, God, God. I'm here to be trained. I'm here for an education. I'm willing, God. I'll do what you want me to do. I'll say what you want me to say. In Jesus' name. Amen. If you don't open your mouth, the Holy Spirit can't talk. All right, now I want everyone to raise your hands and we're going to pray in tongues. Hallelujah. Let's do it. Oh, we love you, Jesus. So, Kohor Rashada Kamala Busida. Let me say something about Harry Potter. Warlocks are enemies of God. And I don't care what kind of hero they are. They're an enemy of God. And had it been in the Old Testament, Harry Potter would have been put to death. Amen. You don't make heroes out of warlocks. This is a generation that's going to stand for purity and righteousness and holiness and you're going to serve the Lord all the days of your life. And we declare all those things over you. I believe this so much that I have given my whole life to see to it that you get there. I sense in my heart tonight what I heard the Lord say is that there's some kids here that say they're Christians that go to church all the time but you're one thing when you're at church and you're another thing when you're at school with your friends you're a phony and a hypocrite you do things you shouldn't do you talk dirty just like all the other kids talk dirty and it's time to clean up your act come up here and get washed because we can't have phonies in the army of God if that's you Put your hands up here. Whoa, baby. Wash your hands. Father, we just wash them with the water of your word. We say no more, devil. No more. Say it, boys and girls, in the name of Jesus. You know exactly what you need to repent of. Name it. Name it out loud. Name it. What do you need to be forgiven of? No more hypocrisy. Now you go somewhere and pray and you start doing some repenting here. you came on this camp, you're going to be a different person. You're going to be radical. You're going to be on fire. How many of you want to be those who would give up their lives for Jesus? I got my big old goalie ghost hammer here tonight. We're going to break some things in the heavenlies here tonight. We're going to break the power of the enemy and government. They came to your schools and they, they took Jesus out of your schools, but one thing they couldn't do was take Jesus out of your hearts. We can't just sit back and accept corrupt government. 
I believe God wants to put godly, righteous people in government. How many of you want to break this cup of the power of the enemy over government? Break this cup. You break that thing in the name of Jesus. Righteous government, God. Righteous government. Lord, come on, proclaim that righteous government. Every time we break a cup, there's a release in the spirit. We break the power of the devil in this nation. In the name of Jesus, it's gone. Shut it out. plans for you in your life and he just wants you to be able to follow him with your whole heart and thank you you're welcome appreciate it welcome i've been teased several times and, and i've just thought to myself man's decision whatever god's decision something they think i'm weird go ahead you're not the ones who are going to be judging me if i'm going to go to hell or heaven god is it matters what he thinks of what me it doesn't matter what you think 